If you're curious as to how I cut these curved muntins and put them in there, man, you better watch this video because that's what's coming up really soon. So you can see I've got my layout marks on the table and what I'm going to do, I'm going to line my square up on those layout lines. All right. Boom. Mm -hmm. That goes there. And actually I only need one square because I line it up there with that one. Line what up, Mr. Steve? Oh, that's a good question. I've got these curvy muntins that I made already. They're wild. I mean, they are wild, but they're running wild. That means they're long. Boy, look at that. See how I'm lining that up? Boom, I've got my square on my mark and I put my curved muntin on my square. My square is on the line and how my round piece is touching that. All right, I wonder if this one's right. Oh man, that one's right too. Okay, so I'm gonna mark two ones. I'm gonna take them over to the bandsaw and I'm gonna cut them. You know the coped end on this guy but man curves are hard all right so here we are back at the coping station and i don't know how you guys cope with things but this is how carpenters and artisans and woodworkers do. Um, basically, what I gotta do now, I gotta cut this little piece off right there so that this will meet with that. I'm gonna stick it in that little corner right there, okay? Because all I feel, and I'm gonna do it real gentle, so you can't see I'm not putting a lot of pressure. Ah, now I got it. Now the blade is straight, okay? I can eyeball straight down. Oh, isn't that nice? All right. So there, take it out. Just gonna use it as a guide right there to cut in. Oh, man, isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. Man, I really like that fit. Look at that. pretty good right Woo! look at those guys those are really nice that's like oh man those need to be on a lazy susan just spinning around look how nice those oh go the other way okay we'll go the other way because you know why not sometimes we need to go the other way all right hopefully it all fits oh that's nice look at that this is number three. Oh, that that is number four. Wowzers! All right, so now I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna pin them in place, ding, 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 with a uh, brad nailer. Oh, I love it. Boom! Oh yeah. Ah. Oh, it's so nice. Holy moly, roly poly. So, 
that's how those curved muntins get in there, okay? Isn't that nice? Oh boy, isn't that nice? All right, for my final move of the day. Well, this is the next day. I have my plunge router set up on a trammel here. My point set up so that I can swing my router around this top of the sash that's currently got, it's oversized. It's got some cutouts. This is going to be my finishing, finishing touch here to finish off the sash. So I'm going to go ahead and get it hooked up. But first, I'll show you my router setup. All right. This is a upside down Makita plunge router with a plywood base I made here at the shop. And you can see the points on it I've used in the past. My final point's gonna be right there, okay? So I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna take a screw like this, put it through that there hole, and then put that screw in that hole right there. And that will be my radius that I'll swing around and cut. I'm going to do that in just a few seconds. I'm going to get it set up right now. Set my point in the hole. That's my screw gun over there, so use this guy to set it down. Just check it. Make sure. Oh, that's going to look. Oh, that's going to look good. Oh, that's going to be nice. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That was like uh, really exciting, even for me, you know, because I get excited about cool stuff like putting in curved muntins, and I like I really like finishing windows like that one. So, thanks for watching. Tune in again next time when I'll do something really crazy, like make a square window or show you something about the satisfaction. All right, love you guys. Over and out.